How's it going guys? Welcome to our new video on our channel where we're going to be looking at what lineup we think Liverpool should use against Wolves this weekend in the Premier League. So before we get into it, we're going to play 4-4-2, but before we get into it, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new. So, starting off in net, there's only one man for the job. I love Kelleher, don't get me wrong, but Alisson is the man. He is world class. He's probably the best goalkeeper in the league this season, in my opinion. I know keepers have had better records, but... If you think about it, he's had a lot more to do than most keepers with Liverpool's, well, the rest of Liverpool's team in front of him. So, yeah, Alisson, obvious choice for in net, really. I have to go with my boy Trent Alexander-Arnold in right back. He is world class, in my opinion, still. He may struggle defensively, and this season he hasn't had the passing on point. But he's the best we've got, and I will back him. I will back him all the way. Maybe one day he could be a centre mid, but I, I, right now he's not there. And he's playing right back. So, Trent... Come on, boy. Then our back options are a bit stretched. First choice has to be Matip. I mean, Canate's out, Van Dijk's out, and Gomez is awful. So, Joel Matip, you are my number one choice. Come in and do a solid job. You always do, really. You're Mr. Reliable at the back. Can have a stinker, I suppose, but who doesn't? Uh, so, maybe not that reliable. But you're the best we've got with other people injured. Nathaniel Phillips has to be the second choice. I mean, come on. Joel Gomez stinks. I've said it once, I've said it a hundred times. You all hear me, he stinks. And Nat Phillips may not be, you know, the most pristine choice that we've got, but he is better than most uh, reserve players that we have. So, Nat Phillips, you're going to have to be the number two. I'm sure you could get a solid job. You remind me of Jamie Carragher, the way you fucking love. He loves a tackle. He tackled Erling Haaland, remember? Let's not forget that. Andy Robertson is the best left back in the world. In my opinion, in most Liverpool fans' opinions, and not in many other people's opinions, but... He's, in, he's the best left-back in the world, in my opinion. So he's in my team. Uh, tell me someone who's better, who plays more consistently at the same level. He now has the Premier League assist record, and he's starting in this game. Of course, he is so solid, and I love him. Even when he has a bit of a shaky performance, he still is solid. I take back every bad thing I said about Stefan Bajosic. He is brilliant. I love him. And he may look better because the rest of the midfield's crap. Don't get me wrong. But I'm loving you, Stefan. You're doing your job, and that is more than the rest of the midfield does. So you are 100% my starting midfielder. You're the first name I put on this team sheet. I can't lie, other than Allison. But you're the first outfield player I put on this team sheet. So to you, kudos. <laughs> now, I can't lie. I'm not the biggest fan of Thiago. Don't think he's been that great this season. Um, he was all right when we had loads of other runners around him, but I still don't think he's ever been as amazing as people hype him up to be. Yes, he's great on the ball, but... You know, he doesn't do everything else perfectly. And since he's come in, we've been getting exposed a little bit. So something's got to be wrong there. Um, but nonetheless, he's better than Fabinho, better than Curtis Jones, and better than Naby Keita. Probably better than Henderson as well. It was a toss-up between them two. Um, so yeah, Thiago, you're in. But if you start playing stinky, get Jordan on the pitch. In right wing or right mid, whichever way you want to look at it, we've got Mr. Umber performing himself, Mohamed Salah. He has not been up to scratch this season. And I think a little bit of a deeper role in that right mid might take a bit of the pressure off. He could get the ball deeper, play a couple of passes, maybe work his way in at the back post if, if the left mid comes in and crosses it well, you know? So that's where I'm going with Salah. You can't choose anyone else. He is still world class and he has his moments. And he's that threat. People have to come out and mark him. I just hope that he can start hitting the back of the net. In left mid, it has to be my boy Harvey Elliott. There's no one else. He has been one of our shining stars in the recent weeks. In a very, very, very painful season. But he's been good. He's scored a couple of goals. He's the only reason we made it as far as we did in the FA Cup. And almost made it a bit further. But we didn't. So, you know, there's that. But yeah, Harvey, you deserve your place. Other players are injured. Not really much of a choice. But you, you deserve it anyway. If, if other players back, you'd be on the right wing instead of Salah. Now, I've lined Cody Gakpo up just a little bit deeper behind the striker, you know, so he can sort of have a bit of a free roll, but also play up top and get some goals, drift left, drift right. And I think he'd be quite good. A bit of freedom might do him some good. Service into the top. He can run off the man and hopefully score a goal. We'll see. I don't know. I haven't actually had a chance to actually watch him have a one-on-one -on -one yet, which is quite depressing given the fact that it's been a whole month since he signed now. That's not his fault. That's Liverpool's fault. That's the midfield's fault. And that is why we're going for the 4-4-2 today. And that is why I've put him up with a strike partner. And last but not least, Captain Chaos. 
you couldn't have anyone else. Dar Wizzy, you are my king. I love you. You're my favourite player. And I have missed you every single game that you've been gone this season. Even when you got red card and I wanted to cry. But that's not the point. We've been out for the last few weeks. And look how bad we've been. You, Liverpool with Darwin is here. Liverpool without Darwin, down here. So, there's not really much of a question when I say you have to be that number one in striker. And with Gakpo up front with you, it might take a bit of pressure off you. And the chances could flow and, you know, play 4-4-2 Klopp!